Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Friday, 22 March, almost through March, almost through the first quarter, on a very, very humbling morning, looking at this S&P chart. My, my. How wrong was I? Wow. Uh, we were conviction short uh, futures yesterday. Things were looking fine down at um, 28.13, uh, the low in Europe. And here we are, 28.60. Incredible. Bullish engulfed basically the whole week. Closed at the highs. What a pain in the ass. Uh, we obviously killed this thing um, through 52. And now uh, we're just sort of sitting here wondering uh, what, what to do here with this. We did get paid in Euro Yen yesterday in the tactical book. So, you know, helped smooth out the day, but gave a lot of profits back being short stocks. I had a lot of money on the table. So real real pain in the ass that uh, and going in today we're a little bit jaded we've got a um, couple of things to look at today we've got European PMIs which will be interesting obviously euro had the massive reversal from the FOMC highs traded all the way down to 42 this is now an interesting level here um, 113.36 which is the low of the FOMC day uh, we got down to 42 yesterday, so this becomes bearish, and we consider it a full turn on prices below 36. So that's kind of interesting. Aussie, also interesting bar yesterday, uh, despite the fact that equities turned big tail after the jobs number traded up to 72. Um, this looks like a turn to me, and it looks like we're going to visit this 70 level uh, one way or the other in the next uh, you know, week or so. So, of course, short Aussie looks interesting to us. Got to be careful on the risk-reward side because you don't want to be risking you know, 60, 70 ticks on a tactical trade. Uh, but core short Aussie looks interesting. What else is there? Uh... Aussie yen, same type of bar, bearish engulfed, um, and now this, if we get a turn in stocks, um, which I'm not going to say anything about because yesterday just got torched on that, um, this looks like it wants to head lower, fully bearish engulfed, closed at the lows, so prices now down below 60 are very interesting in Aussie yen. Not a whole heck of a lot to say, um, except for we're just starting fresh again today, and we'll see what this thing brings. Um, Aussie and Aussie Yen put in some very, very interesting bars, equities through the roof. Um, we squared those shorts. If we take one quick look at this equity bar, I mean, we talked about this level. We've been talking about it for weeks. Uh, 2870 is is really the number where uh, you have to kill any short idea this uh, this was the breakdown uh, in October last year so here we are um, we're just too jaded to sell it up here right now and we're gonna wait um, until we get some sort of bearish momentum one way or the other either through news maybe the brexit fuck up or or just we need some sort of bearish signal before before we sell this thing. Anyway, like I said, not too much use this morning. A bit jaded from yesterday. Aussie Yen and Aussie both will be playing left-hand side today. I wish you all a good Friday and a profitable one. I will see you all on Monday.